Hey there, followers. In this video, we're featuring this car again. We used it to test the tires that we stuck band-aids to. They worked all right. And we have gotten quite a few people in the comments requesting... We try freezing tires into ties. It is pretty cold outside. Minus 14, 15 degrees Celsius. It gets down to minus 25 at night. So typical weather for Siberia. And so while the weather is nice and chilly, here is what we're going to do. We've got plenty of snow. We could use it to make some kind of form work, like what we have here. Then we start adding water into the mix, pour it onto the snow. It'll quickly freeze. We keep filling it up until we end up with a sort of... tub that's filled with ice. From there we start the car and attempt to power out. Will we even be able to? Now there are ways to go about doing that, which we'll explore if we fail to just drive out. Anyway, enough talk, let's do this. Okay, so we've used snow to make some improvised form work. Now, of course, this is fluffy snow, which is why I've brought out this sprayer. And so now I will proceed to slowly spray on some water for the edges to freeze over. Once they do, we'll be free to just pour some water right in. Without worrying, it'll melt the snow. I think we'll be very good indeed. Okay, let's spray some water on before it gets warm. Originally uploaded in 2017. So here's the situation, guys. The forecast has proven to be accurate. We've been out here for about four hours and we've frozen our butts off. But here's where we're at. We've already used about 100 liters of water. We are pouring it in slowly, but it still finds a hole to leak out through. We can't seem to, I mean, we've made that form work. It's frozen solid, but the increase of the ice inside of it has been incremental, like millimeter by millimeter. But then this idea occurred to us. Of course, we'll try using water to make it denser anyway. We pack snow around the tire, soak it with water. Once it's wet, we pack it even harder. And pour some more water onto it. The water will still seep through it. And we don't want the ice to be too crumbly. But yeah, it's nighttime. We are freezing out here, I mean. Good thing we have the garage where we can keep ourselves warm. We should finish this before morning, and with that, let's carry on. Progress report, fellas. This has gone very well indeed. Temperature has gotten even lower. But there we have the frozen wheels. This is looking very good. I think that while we were doing this and that, the water in this canister has begun to freeze. But if I start pouring it, it should be fairly obvious that we are doing well. As you can see, it's currently minus 19. But come 5, 6, 7, 8... 9 o'clock in the morning, it'll go down to minus 23, 24. In any case, that what we've poured in, once the temperature gets down to even minus 23, it should all freeze solid. When we get back, we'll try kicking it just to make sure. We might even pick some of it to work out if the ice has gotten nice and hard or not. Okay, so for now, we'll leave this alone. Stay with us, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so it's the next day. We decided not to come out here early in the morning, because even at 9 a.m. it was still well below minus 20. Now it's a bit warmer, and this is what we're looking at. This is looking excellent. The ice is nice and hard. Good stuff. Now we need to start the car. And to be honest with you, 
Yesterday the thing only started when we hooked up the second battery, and we only charged one of them. But we won't be taking any chances. I've brought with me some of this stuff that we used to start it yesterday. Now I guess we try, I mean... Not even try, we are gonna start this thing. Right. Excellent. Fired up. Try again. Come on, start, damn it. Hold up. The starter motor is acting up. Is it frozen as well? Come on. Excellent. One more time. Okay, guys, we're looking good. Almost at operating temp, that'll do. Engine operation is stable, more or less. Now we try to escape from this trap. I just broke one of the engine mounts, isn't that neat? Did it break for him? <laughs> now I'll try backing up. <laughs> what do we got? One wheel has broken for him. And over here the ice has shattered. Yeah, ice is correct. What do we have on this side? It is free, check that out. But why? Wasn't it supposed to freeze solid? As for why the hood was jumping, that's because the engine was backfiring right into the carburetor. But I mean, we still need to find some way to get the entire car out of this trap. Ideally, we want both wheels to spin. I help them by steering. Then we break the rear end free and we're good to go. It is a massive undertaking, of course. We'd better try, our plan might even work. What's up? Did it break loose? Yeah. Now I drive forward. Doesn't want to drive out. So we have two options. We can clear the ice out all around, or we can drag it out. With the help of some other heavier vehicle. What's the heaviest one we have nearby? Oh, we can use the minivan. Okay, guys, so the minivan successfully started. That's all good. We just didn't want to look around for any bigger cars. And this one has got four-wheel drive. I put it into four-wheel drive mode. And now I'll try pulling that car out. The rope is rated at two tons. It should hold up with that sort of tensile strength, especially since I won't be yanking it. If pulling it straight doesn't work, we'll try turning left, right, let's go. Won't budge. Oh, we're getting somewhere, right? Doesn't want to help me out. I can drive stick, he told me. Yeah, right. Uh 
That'll do. It undid itself. That's terrific. Okay. We were slowly, gradually able to pull it out. Which is great. Okay, so a quick recap. Even though the wheels were frozen, the engine was able to break them free. If you rock it back and forth, first then reverse, the ice will crack and crumble. Now, I was worried the ice wouldn't be hard enough, but I just had a look and that is some proper ice. It's hard, it's real. Maybe there just wasn't enough of it. Regardless, it is possible to break a car loose. There were other ways to do it, but yeah. We used the minivan to carefully pull the car out. That was all good, everything stayed intact. Nothing was torn off. If you enjoyed this one, like the video. If we get enough likes, I'll take the car further out, place it into some water, wait until it freezes. Maybe even all the way up to, I don't know... Up to the friggin' hubs? And we'll try this all over again. Anyway, I digress. This experiment has been a massive success. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, send in your suggestions, comment. Consider subbing and catch you later.